Let's do a little harder problem now. Uh, I want you to take one minute. I want you to read this question to yourself and see if you can spot the activity um, and the concept that's being tested when you read it. On your mark, get set, go. Pause the video. Unpause. Uh, again, we have pre-kindergarten. Okay, uh, three to four, four to five. I'm going to put down here a four-year-old. Just put down four, just in my head. Pre-kindergarten teacher that's working with a lot of four-year-olds asks a small group of children to listen and to repeat what the teacher says. So this is automatically a sound thing, right? That four-year-old is not reading a book. Most likely, they're not. Most four-year-olds are not quite yet reading. They may be pretend reading. They may have memorized a rhyming text or a predictable text, but they're not quite, not quite there yet with the decoding process. So th this makes sense. The, the teacher is doing a sound activity, listening, repeating. Yes. So we're in the sound zone. Okay. First, the teacher says the word mop and then pronounces it as m-a-p. Then the teacher says the word take and pronounces it as t-ake. You know what? M, M, and op, M, and op. Guess what? They're breaking it into its onset and its rhyme. Who spots that? Now, hopefully, you read this, and, and within maybe 30 seconds, you're like, I know that. That's my friend. Remember our friend? <laughs> That's my friend, John. <laughs> my friend, M, op. That's onset rhyme, right? That's my onset rhyme, friend. When you recognize your friend, then it shouldn't be hard to get to the right answer, right? Let's see what the answer is. Uh, is it A, modeling how to separate syllables into spoken words? Yes, it is. <laughs> Correct. Uh, no, 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 sorry. It's not separating. No, that's wrong. It's not separating syllables. That would be like wonderful. No, it's not that. Cross it up. Sorry. It's segmenting a word into, sorry about that. I, I got confused. It's segmenting the word into its onset and rhyme. Showing them how to segment words into onset and rhyme. See, I, I got confused with my friends. <laughs> Walked in, I was meeting the other friend. So you got to be careful of that. On the day of the test, you're rushing. Maybe you're feeling really confident. And you're thinking about these different scenarios. And it's quite possible that you're thinking of one scenario and you match it up with another scenario, right? So we got to be very careful. This is onset and rhyme. It goes with onset and rhyme, right? This is a syllable thing. Uh, this is not a, a phoneme thing, and it's not a letter thing involving consonants and vowels and letter recognition, and letter naming. This one comes from that new reading test. Now, this is a harder one, harder question. So I like to do those harder exams. So this is a really good one to do um, if you're doing a reading specialist exam um, or if you're doing like the, the 190, you should definitely take a look at it. These are slightly harder questions on this exam. So a good one to take a look at. The answer is B, okay? And this is some of the vocab that we did. Syllable, uh, pre-kindergarten, onset rhyme. Uh, we didn't do short vowel, long vowel. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, can I want to do it? Why not? It's right here. It's, it's, it's looking at us here. We should do it. Uh, when we take the word mop, you notice that this is a vowel consonant, right? You see the vowel consonant? And this symbol here represents a short vowel. So it's not, it's a short O, like ah uh and on and ah uh and ma op, right? So we use that symbol, the little squiggly sign, as for a short vowel. And whenever we have a vowel consonant, like we have vowel consonants in lots of words, like uh, cat has a vowel consonant, or mat has a vowel consonant. We call that a closed syllable. So anytime we have words like cat, mat, or C, B, vowel consonant, it's called a closed syllable. And what it means is that the, the, the vowel is going to be short. You see this with CVC words. I'm sorry, I'm just throwing this in there. We're going to get to it later on. I just thought I would put it in there. Uh, like, for example, um, let me think of a word. Uh, uh, let's do the word uh, run. Vowel consonant. So we have VC. That's an example of a closed syllable. 
which means that that vowel there is going to be short. That's going to be a short U in, in the word run. Yes. And then a open syllable or a long, uh, uh, I think I'll save uh, open syllable for a little bit later, but that would be a, a long, a long vowel sound. And we'll save that for a little bit later. So I think uh, right now we'll just do uh, uh, closed syllable words like CVC words where we have a short vowel whenever we have a vowel consonant. It's going to be a short vowel. And we'll just touch upon that much later on uh, in much more detail. Okay? All right. Um, all right, great. All right, team, let's go to the next one. Okay? Keep going.